bit of guys. So just to cut your video on SEMrush's keyword research tool and what it does, how you use it and the data that it churns out. So anyone familiar with SEMrush, um, this is what happens when you log in. You've got your dashboard and then you've got all your kind of options down the left hand side to do whatever you want to do. So I've put in the keyword overview tab, but you used cars. And obviously what happens here is it gives me all the data based on used cars. So that particular search term gets 110 monthly searches here in the UK. Just bear in mind UK, US, whatever can be different volumes. <clears throat> obviously in the US, much bigger. So they've got 673 thousand monthly searches and obviously you can see the keywords there change slightly like Kelly Blue book, used cars and whatever, you know, I've not heard of that in particular, but um, you know, I'm assuming that's some kind of Arnold Clark type people. Um, and obviously here in the UK, you can see used cars in Northern Ireland, used cars, used cars for sale, the monthly search volume, the rough cost per click in US dollars, and obviously here you've got your related um, kind of keywords. These are phrase match keywords, related keywords, which will just give you, um, you know, related keywords. And it will also show you ads history and stuff like that as well. And kind of the traffic that you get and, and all that kind of stuff. So there is a lot of data here when you're doing your keyword research. And as far as I'm concerned, data is the key so you know you want to make sure that you've got the the right amount of data or the right data to be able to perform keyword research i'm just going to change this part here to great british pounds and it will show you roughly the cost per click for some of these keywords um, that are on there so <coughs> keyword research is quite easy obviously you can change keywords there to see second hand cars <laughs> I'll obviously throw out different data. I will show you the kind of other search terms and any kind of related keywords. You can see secondhand cars spelt properly gets 49,500 monthly searches, 110 million competing pages, cost per click and stuff like that. And obviously you can see there second using the, you know, the kind of numeric um, way of doing it gets a lot less search, but You've got people, you know, everyone's different and uh, you want to make sure you cover as many options as you possibly can. So that is how you do keyword research on here. So, you know, as I say, you've got phrase match related keywords and you've got ads history. Now, SEMrush also have a couple of other new -ish tools. So you've got keyword difficulty, which I'm just going to click on here and you can put in second hand cars show difficulty and it will tell you <clears throat> the monthly search, the results and the difficulty percentage here. Um, so it obviously gives you an estimate based on the calculations that SEMrush do as to whether that keyword is going to be difficult or not. And 84% secondhand cars is reasonably competitive so, you know, if you've got something at 12%, 15%, even 30 40 50%, then it's not going to be overly competitive. Um, but once you start going above that, the more difficult it's going to get. Now, another quick tool that SEMrush have is the Keyword Magic tool. And it's, again, another great little tool. So you just stick in used cards. Make sure you select your location, then click search. And again, it will give you all of this stuff here. You can mess about with all the kind of settings. You can export it, uh, e export the data. And you can, again, you can see used cars in Northern Ireland. So you can add these to the keyword analyzer, used cars for sale, Ford used cars, Arnold Clark, who are one of the big Companies in the UK, Auto Trader, Mercedes, 
So we've added those to the keyword analyzer. So you can just add whatever you feel like adding. And then go to keyword analyzer. And it will tell you the kind of rough cost per click. Top competitors. We need to add a bit more data in there. But you can see that the total volume here is 318,600. So you can see there that the keyword analyzer tool, it's obviously in a better mode or beta, whatever you want to say. You can obviously add in up to a thousand and use all your filters here to kind of filter stuff out, cost per click from to and click potential SERP features you know, whether that's going to be the knowledge panel, local pack or whatever, and you can filter all this kind of stuff out. It doesn't work 100% yet, as you can see, but this will be another good feature that SEMrush has brought out. And uh, they are always adding new tools um, based on whether it's keyword research. You can see some of the other cool tools that they're adding down here as well. But that is keyword research and how we would go about doing it. It's really easy to use, and as I say, it's the simplest sticking in use cars into the search bar under keyword overview, and it will churn out that data for you. And if you want to kind of show your potential client the full report, you can export that as a PDF um, or export it as CSV, Excel spreadsheet, and whatever. Um, and you can go through all of this here you can add your filters in and stuff like that as well so you can do a lot with this tool and you can see that there's a lot of keywords based around used cars whether that is Glasgow specific or car specific um, or whatever else there's a lot of good data here and this is what you need to be doing to be able to do good keyword research many people are still guessing what keywords they should be going for and obviously that's not going to result in a good campaign so hopefully this has been of use and if you've got any questions do feel free to get in touch